Right, it's a new academic year, it's a new me, and as you can see, it's a new bathroom. Now luckily, when I'm uh, looking at a new house, I ask all the important questions to the estate agents. Is there a garage? Is there good parking? What's the garden like? How are the acoustics in the bathroom? Luckily, as you can hear, they're pretty good, so the standard of this should be every bit as good as my, my last uh, four videos. This one's for A2 Literature, to help you prepare for the uh, Gothic exam on a particular text. Um, in particular, so without further ado, uh, I'll start. I just need to uh, cycle through my phone because I need to get back to one of the main characters of the novel who's been in touch. Just got to cycle through a bit because I've had a lot of calls recently from number one recording artist and semi finalist of series one of The Voice, Becky Hill. Trying to arrange a collaboration. I keep saying, No, Becky, the public aren't ready for another version of Ebony and Ivory, however good the two singers are. Uh, right, here we are, uh, Victor. Right, so I'll just uh, give him a call. The signal's not always great in Ingolstadt, but I'm hoping I'll get through. Uh, yeah, it's ringing. He's picked up. Hello? Is that Victor? The crazy scientist who married his adopted sister. He's been dreaming. She was going to kiss you. Then she turned into your mother's corpse. Yeah, you got mommy issues. Hello? You're so obsessive. And behind your civilized image, inside you're quite aggressive. You've got fears and you've got anger. So the creature's not a monster. In fact, he's your doppelganger. We're all Barbaric, so you're a hero of the Gothic. Hello, Victor Frankenstein. A scientist before your time. I think you're obsessed with creating new life and it has killed your best friend, your brother and your wife. Yeah, hello, Victor Frankenstein. The monster is your darker side. Your sexuality is latent. You won't even be kissed. You're creating life without women like a mad misogynist playing God. He's um, always passed it over to another character in the book. Hello? Is that Walton? The explorer who's travelled the whole world apart from Bolton. I'm pleased you've learned from Victor's mistakes. You gave up your ambition and went home. You didn't carry on and then blame fate. Your letter sandwich, the main narrative, and that is great for AO2. Yeah, hello, Victor Frankenstein, Frankenstein. A scientist before your time, before your time. I think you're obsessed with creating new life and it has killed your best friend, your brother and your wife. So hello, Victor Frankenstein, Frankenstein. The monster's just your darker side, darker side. Your sexuality is latent. You won't even be kissed, creating life without women, like a mad misogynist playing God. <clears throat> yeah, he's, uh, he's hung up.